Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I'm doing an eyeshadow tutorial today and this is what I'm doing. These are the colors I am wearing. Look at that. They are so, I feel so girly wearing these colors. They're called Purple Pop by Avon. Um, they are on sale right now for $5. Uh, I'll post the links down below if you guys want to get it. But I just wanted to talk about this for a second. I normally don't tend to go with pastels of these colors because they're very pastel-y and I like more browns. But I love this look. If you look at it, I mean, I feel so like feminine, pretty, girly, like, you know, you know, when you play dress up when you're younger and how it makes you feel like, like a girly girl. And with this look, I honestly do feel that way. And I, so I, I actually would recommend this look if you want to, you know, change it up and get that, that girly girl look again. So if you like this look, just stay tuned. Okay, girls, so let's get started. Started, not starty. I don't know why I keep saying that. So we're going to take this number two color right here in the palette. And this number two color is going to go all over your eyelid. And I did put an eyeshadow primer on. That's um, always recommended for any eyeshadow. It makes the colors last and stay more vivid. They don't budge all day. Okay, so we put that all over your eyelid. Now we're gonna go with this number three color, which is like a shimmery um, purple. More on the pastel, lighter side. And we're gonna put this in the crease area. When you're putting this in your crease area, you're gonna do what I call a half a moon. So you can see how that is shaping out to be. When you do this half moon, you're gonna build it upward though. So we're gonna be coming up, touching the brow bone. This color is a beautiful, beautiful girly pink. Okay, so you see how I just kind of built a half moon and I'm touching right there to the brow bone. There's your half moon. Okay, we're gonna go back with this number four, which is the definer look. You're gonna put it on your brush and we're gonna do what I call a V in the corner. So we're gonna go to one line right here and then we're gonna go one line right there. See how it looks like a V in the corner there? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this V up to match this color. Bring it up, touching into the other color, up to that brow bone as well. Put a little bit more because I'd like this purple to pop. Just as so. Now it's alright if you notice that there is a fine line between them that you can see. Like you can see that line right there. Because what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to get a clean brush. And you're going to wiggle that line out between in the middle. Just kind of tapping on it. You guys see how it totally softened that look. And you can do the same thing in the crease if you feel like you want them to blend a little bit softer together. But the main thing is to blend, blend this top line up here. We're going to give this a more of a soft look. Just blend it out. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. Oh, bam. Done. Okay. So when you've done that, now we're going to go with this one which is the highlighter color, it's gonna go directly under your eyebrow. Now, we're just gonna pat this on. This is a purple highlighter, but don't be intimidated by it because it goes on very light and it just has a hint of purple. Okay, see? Really, really pretty. I'm gonna blend this line out just a little bit more. Actually, I'm gonna not blend, I'm gonna add. And that's it. I'm gonna put my eyelashes on and my eyeliner, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put my eyelashes on, some winged eyeliner look, and I put some liner in my waterline. Now this next step is completely optional. Um, I'm gonna take a purple gel eyeliner here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going, and you can hardly see that it's purple on this eye doesn't show up very much in camera, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line underneath 
my line, my eyes here, and I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to go right under that wing. So it's going to be like a double wing. So it's like a black pointed wing with a purple wing right there. But the colors are so similar in the corner with this purple that it doesn't show. So let me do that. Okay, so I finished that and I put the purple underneath. That's completely optional. You can put uh, your regular black liner there if you want. Um, to top off this look, I'm going to give myself some darker lashes on the bottom or longer lashes on the bottom. And that is it. Close up, you guys can see what it looks like. Really, really pretty. So honestly, like, look at this look. It is, it just feels very, very girly. This is, a, that's exactly what I'm going to call this look. I'm going to say it's a very, very girly look. The purple and pinks, it's very pastel-y looking, but it's gorgeous. I actually, I never get pastels on my, I actually don't wear pastels as often because I feel like, you know, browns and golds look better on my skin tone, but I actually like this very much. It's called Pop, a uh, Purple Pop. It's um, by Avon. It's the True Color Quad, but it's called Pop of Purple. The links will be down below, and it is on sale for $4.99. That's actually what the palette looks like right there. Anyways, I'll put my website down below. You guys want this? You know, everything will be linked. Um, give me a thumbs up if you could. Share it with your friends. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I am Christina Marie. I am out. Bye.